Hello and welcome to vlog number 66. That's an interesting number, but the more interesting number is going to be in three episodes. Anyway, this is my daily life vlog, my disc of life. If you happen to watch this for the first time, this is uh, how I document myself, how I'm developing myself to better disc golf and and how I'm working towards my end goal, which is going to be having a course in Asia. Maybe Thailand, maybe Philippines, maybe Vietnam, maybe whatever country it is in Asia. Just love the nature over there and this is the goal I'm working towards. Today is Saturday and yeah, uh, it's it's a kind of a interesting weather. You can see there's still some snow. The snow has not gone away yet, and but it's melting. It's uh, really trying. Probably by tomorrow it's gone. I have only my left glove on because I can't putt with my right hand when I have the glove on. But you can see the ground is snowy, so I use this hand to pick up the this from the floor, so this hand doesn't get cold so much because if you don't know snow is cold but you probably know that. yeah anyway today I'm going to take it easy I don't think I'm going to go play because hopefully tomorrow I can play in the local league so saving a little bit and doing other plans and even right now I can see messages popping up on my phone that me and my other partner we are discussing some video projects that we are planning that maybe what we want to do some tournaments and the hat was crooked and anyway I think uh, yeah that's it and I, I will start getting active and uh, do some putting training 100 putts i don't know if i'm going to do the yearly game it's going to depend how i feel after the putting practice itself the 100 putts exercise and we'll see because it's really 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 moist i would say i can feel it in the air so, like you can see, I'm still with the jacket. I really hate doing with the jacket, but it is what it is. Yeah, anyway, let's get active. So, um, 100 put sun, not going to do the yearly game. Everything is too wet and I'm scared of getting sick and everything like that. Maybe I will do more parts later in the evening. Most likely I'm going to do that. Because practice makes perfect or it just makes you, you a perfect practicer. I don't know which I, I am right now. Oh, of course. So, yeah, so much snow, all the snow wants to get stuck at the disc for some reason. Everybody knows what, the, what is the reason of course, but yeah, the kind of weather is kind of weird because there's no sun, but it feels so bright because the sun is over there actually looking towards it right now and the snow is reflecting it so it kind of hurts the eyes a little bit I think today's 100 putts was the best I've had uh, since the weather went bad probably this is how it feels like but it's not up to the point where I'm thinking uh, I'm hoping that the way I'm planning to do my putting practice is 
I stay on five meters for three days. If the three day average goes above 75%, all three days together, goes above 75%, I move to six meters. If it goes, the next three days goes above 75%, I move to seven meters. If it goes below 50%, I move back to five meters. I'm going to try it like this because uh, because of the confidence, of course, mainly, because if you hit less than half of your putts, then you're just practicing how to miss, you're not practicing how to make it. So the confidence will go even more down. So let it be the long, long distance putts, they're going to be awful for some time but it doesn't really matter because I'm building up. I'm not planning to build down, so yeah. It is what it is and yeah. Can't wait for tomorrow because tomorrow the snow is going to be gone and we can play the league. Hopefully it's not going to rain because the rain is going to cancel for me. And yeah, go hour by hour and see what happens. So it is Sunday and it's time for the league. We started rather my group and me started on hole 14 and this is what you're seeing. I started off with a really, really nice drive with my bus on this 75 meter hole and I parked it perfectly. And here we're going to see a nice friend of mine, local guy, and he has working on his backhand all winter and it's looking actually way better. It is looking better. And he got the birdie as well. I had a tap in birdie from the bullseye and a really good start for any, any league game. And the next hole, hole 15, it was 100% misrelease. I wanted to put as much a spin as possible, but I had an early release and yeah, I landed here. So just get it under the basket. It was around almost 20 meters away and tap in from bullseye. Nothing too crazy, just accept it. Just sometimes you have. And hole 16, yeah, this is where the wind killed me. It was a side wind and I overcooked the disc a little bit so the wind caught it and on my approach shot I decided to stay short but I was not short so I landed in the OB rather it rolled to the OB and I had to take my one meter and then I decided to take it back a little bit to get myself a better angle to the basket and I'm going to use the same zone I, I went to the OB with because yeah, it's a good approach disc. Like you can see, yeah, it's uh, not bullseye, but it's close enough. It didn't worry me. Five, six meters is uh, good enough. So, and already a first bogey, which is, yeah, we talked with the guys, like you want to avoid any kind of bogeys on this course. So hole 17, off the hand, it felt really, really good but I still had to look inside the circle, eight meters and just too low. So, four holes done. It's not looking really nice, but what do you expect if you basically haven't played for a week? And I think it's time to show with whom I'm playing. Behind me is Darbo. And of me, we have Marco and Alari. Some local players who know this course inside and outside. They know every single bush, they know every single branch, even the phantom ones. So it's good to play with them. And yeah, let's continue. And we are on hole 18, blind shot over the hedge. And it's not so long, I overcooked it again, my berg, and it kept on going to the right and one branch actually kicked it down straight down which is actually good it gave me a long look I was really running it I had a good height chain height but 
yeah, to the left. Yeah, this one I'm really disappointed with myself. Like uh, here, you can see me complain about the other guys talking, but I should have waited a few seconds and I rushed myself again, and it's my own fault. So, with the previous hole, with the wind, everything, I, I wanted to go with the sidearm on this one. Usually, I go with the backhand, and I went OB. So, yeah, only a few holes in, and I already have three penalties. So, yeah. Sorry, I have two penalties. <laughs> I'm wrong. Oh my god. I can't even remember in the same day. So, so you already know that's going to be a third penalty somewhere and uh, maybe it's on this hole because if you go long it's going to be OB. Off the hand this one felt really really good but for some reason it kept on going to the right. It, like it overturned it like you can see I'm being high from the ground it skipped to the left but yeah my, from the previous holes my putting right now this, there was zero confidence so we already on the next hole i think this is hole number three if i'm not mistaken off the hand again it felt perfect here you can see myself me thinking like what is happening like the disc stalled mid air lifted up five six meters and drifted to the right and oh yeah that looked actually a good putt as well but didn't go in too high oh that was really lucky you can see me <laughs> really happy about it Dharma with a good good birdie putt and hold four par four and yes this is overcooked like so so much and this is where i get my third penalty it went ob you can see the ob sticks on the right side and this is actually a good good approach shot i was given a i think good good line and i saved my par with a with a penalty but still i'm not really happy with this start and this one actually also perfect shot with the bars you can't really see alari stepped in the correct place but you can see where i landed and this is a really, really easy birdie. And already in the next hole, this is going fast. I can't keep up with my commentary, but yeah. Off the hand, again, it felt amazing. I hit my line, not too much power, just wanted to get on the hill. I basically landed where I wanted, but the wind was playing with the disc way too much. And this one, I was, yeah, at this point I was scared that it went long. It went long, but only like five or six meters, so it's not so bad. And a good part to get my second birdie in a row. So this is hole seven. I did the review on the last vlog. The same disc. I overcooked it just a little bit too much. This was not wind's fault. I think yeah, it was my own. I just put too much spin on it. And here we see Alari, who was having a bad day actually, but this hole, this looks amazing. This, I'm not even zooming in because you can see that this flight all the way and applause is guaranteed. So again, I have a really, really long look, around eight and nine meters or really close to 10 meters, but amazing putt. I was really, really happy about this one. And here we see Alari going for his birdie. And he climbs in. <laughs> what a putt. What a putt. Fist bump, dude. That was cool. Wow. <laughs> you can't plan this. You can't plan this. So, hole eight. Side arm with a buzz. Off the hand, it felt amazing. Middle of the fight, uh, flight, that was like, maybe I didn't put enough angle, but... From here we can see it was just a little bit too high maybe otherwise it was actually really good and a straddle putt uh, if you know me you know that I don't like it that's why you see me practice that before swinging maybe I should keep on doing that that was looking really good so four birds in a row I come this to this hole and I was like I'm going to take the eagle and 
for that you need to have a really snaky line of and yeah risk with the left tree but yeah it didn't pay off so i had this the gaps are like one meter wide i took choose the biggest gap and i hit that gap perfectly with the standstill sidearm i was hoping to get to the road on the left side i was not there and from this here i have to go from the right side which there's the fairway actually and I hit the branch so it stayed short so I have another 9 or 10 meter putt to save my par yeah I swiveled with my wrist and didn't end up good so Marco is getting a birdie which is a really really good birdie on this hole and I looked at statistics like seems like the locals have figured this hole out and you can see i have not so yeah two circle pots with the one pusai pot and a lot of snow on discs and yeah not really happy and moving on hole 10 par 4 up the hill blind and this was actually the perfect line for the sidearm but i don't really like this location because you can see the gaps kind of a, it's not really even ground you don't have really nice footing you can't do run up and i was short i sh should have taken a different disc but yeah my putt was almost almost so a par on hole 10 is actually not that bad so hole 11 i was like oh well, i'm going to run this that's why i went so high but the disc had too much nose up and stayed short of the basket but five meter putt and yeah perfect perfectly done well done sir and yeah you see some putts as well and moving on this is hole 12 and yeah I'm really really blind uh, this this shot went like five meters too much to the right needs to go slightly over the trees and here we can see how far I actually stay it's about 16 17 meters and yeah I really love this uh, you see I was holding my hands up but yeah sadly a tapping par as well and already at the last hole Off the hand, it felt perfect. Start turning too fast, but hit the pole and I mean, it was a steady fade, but yeah, hit the pole and stayed there. The pole is just on the right side of the screen. You can see the edge of the pole, but this was perfect. Finally, I got my outside putt and I was happy about this. Okay. Right there. Boom. 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 Round done. Not really happy about it. And yeah, too much of uh, little mistakes here and there. Chose the wrong disc. My putts, they're getting along, but I, th I think the when the temperature goes up, it, it starts to get way better than it is right now and yeah so i have to find out how i finished in my division uh, i was two down so i don't think i'm going to be on the podium it doesn't make any sense on the podium i think at least six down at least so second place uh got the new disc this one got a drink and got a chocolate bar energy sport bar it's fine anyway considering all the all the weather conditions the side like left to side winds let's call it side winds i'm i'm happy uh, i can see my pants uh, pants are really really dirty like the forest is still muddy so I did correct choice with my boots 
and yeah now now go rest and yeah i think this is it for today i'm going to rest and do other stuff which are not disc golf related and hopefully the weather keeps on improving and i will be able to do better and better every day and yeah go from there and it is what it is and yep see you next time bye bye bye